got that. Good job. Good job. Nicely done. All right, guys, we are here in the gym after uh, finishing up on the range. So what we're doing is building what I like to think of as an operating system. And if you think about that phrase, an operating system runs all your applications on your computer, right? What's an application for us? Getting a gun out, that's an application. Keeping you from pulling a gun out, getting a knife out, keeping you from pulling a knife out. Without a base operating system, none of those apps are going to run. So our operating system that we're building is based on Greco-Roman wrestling. Why wrestling? If you look at ancient military culture and you look at how their body contact, extreme close quarters fighting with and without weapons is depicted in their art, you see a common theme. If you look at the art and sculpture of ancient Greece, Rome, feudal Japan, people that fielded real armies and did a lot of killing, you see a common theme. You see a dude grabbing another dude, trying to stick a weapon in his body, trying to keep a weapon out of his body, trying to dump him so a buddy can come along and take something long and pointy and put it in him or stay on his feet. So if wrestling has worked as the basis for that kind of combat for 7,000 plus years of humanity, I see no reason to deviate from the model by doing weird kung fu. So we're going to wrestle, all right? But we are not wrestling to wrestle. We are wrestling to achieve very specific self-defense end states. So pressure, posture, and position, those three elements first have to be brought together through a series of attribute developing drills. Once we do that, we're going to come and use four basic attachments. We're going to use the underhook. We're going to use the overhook. We're going to use the bicep tie and we're going to use the wrist tie. Now, pretty simple curriculum. Two hooks, two ties, underhook, overhook, bicep tie, wrist tie. What you'll probably notice is any lack of head control. I'm not trying to grab John's head. I'm not worrying about head control. Is head control bad? No. But guys, we're trying to functionalize weapons, uh, excuse me, uh, grappling and wrestling in a weapons-based environment. Essentially what that means is anytime there's a limb that's untended, that's a limb that I have to assume is going for something around his waist or perhaps it's going for something around my waist. And that's why we're eschewing head control in favor of limb control. Okay, The optimal combination of those four tools is basically to play what we think of as a hook and tie game, an underhook arm tie game. And if I have my druthers, I prefer to hook with my less dominant hand and tie with my primary weapon sparing hand. This, is, this gives me the most options, the best options for all the self-defense end states I want to accomplish. Self-defense end state number one is exiting the clinch. The best way to do that is to get behind him first. I have the ability to get behind him with a technique we use called a duck under, where with my head on the underhook side, I'm going to drive John's arm up as a level change, go behind him, and I will take his back. Okay? I can get an underhook on the tie side from the wrist tie with my head on this tie side by lifting this arm up, level changing, getting up underneath, and taking his back. I can also get behind John with an arm drag, primary technique where I'll drag this arm to center, move around him, take his waist, and finish up with this body lock. And then finally, if I can't get behind John with either a duck under or an arm drag, I can go to a secondary strategy that we call tie-ups where I'm going to make an attempt to isolate two of his limbs with one of mine. And what that allows me to do is free a hand up or I can access a weapon and John can't. So it's a very simple strategy template, reductionist curriculum, four basic, four basic tools, an optimal combination, two ways to get behind him, two ways to lock his limbs down. That's it, man. It's very simple. I could teach that in about four hours. It's funny. Nice. Good blizzard. Nice. There you go. Good. Good. It's fine. Oh. Nice. Good. Nice. Great. Good. Nice. Good job. Great. Nice. Good. 
great good job. Nice. Good. Nice. Head on that side. Good. Now you're going to get out. Nice. There you go. Good job. <laughs> you got to shoot through all nice. these people. So is that okay? Dump them to buy the time uh -huh. to break contact and go? You can dump him and stay on him. I'm scared of him. <laughs> there we go. I'm there scared go. of him. The, the dump worked. No, it yeah. worked. It worked. It's fine. Yeah. And, that, and, it's, and it's viable. Okay. So there you go. Nice. Good. Right there. Control. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. You Good do job. not like guns at distance. <laughs> not at distance. <laughs> at that, no. when, as soon as I go six yards out shooting, he's just like, oh. Well, I'm, oh, like, I'm, I'm, oh. Used, to, I'm used to MMA head, like head kicks or yeah. something coming, so right. I'm always. You just feel super vulnerable, but yeah, I watch like, it if like, this I, is a different game for you. I need to get kicked, kick. so I'm like blocking like the kick. It's My just funny if right here, you feel cool as a cucumber, but as soon get as you're out, out there, there, you're like, oh. <laughs> Nah, yeah. In that corner, Bran. All right, I'll tell you when to go. And go! Got that. Good job. Good job. Nicely done. Nicely done. Stay right. back. Stay away from so me, bro. Was... Where's my gun? All right, so, so guys, we, <laughs> if you watch. Give me my guns. Let's talk about this for a second. I know you're excited. You know, uh, so J John was able to use a little bit of wrestling, okay, uh, and buy himself enough time to get out of the corner and exit. All right, so that was a really good instinct. Really good insight. I thought that was exceptionally well done. Let's see if he can do it again. I definitely, I, I definitely got cut a little bit. I don't, right. I don't think I got any. But you didn't get terrible. It. You stats, didn't get it but, uh, buried in you. All right. So I'm gonna have Brandon amp that pressure up just a little bit. Uh, okay. Let's see what happens now. Quit smiling, man. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. All right, we're starting to clinch. Brandon's trying to get his knife out, hit you with it. You're trying to keep that shit from happening. All right. Ready, go. Nice. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, you'd got me by then. <laughs> just enough wrestling. That would have been an just enough wrestling to get an escape. Yeah. With just the, enough with wrestling. With that amount of backpedaling, I would have been able to fill him with lead. Just uh, enough wrestling. Yeah, to I, get went, an I came in hard with a whizzer and then uh, made sure he wasn't going <laughs> to. Just enough wrestling. And then bolted. All right, let's do it again. Brandon, give me more juice, man. No, I think, right. I think you should even go down a little bit. Uh -huh. Give him more awesome. juice. Don't let him out. All right, ready? Go! Don't let him out. He's doing good about using his legs, so not letting me get my hands there. Nice. We'll do one more rep. So, guys, look, it, and, and, and John, to be fair, you wrestled, okay, for three years in high school, but it's been a decade plus since you've done any wrestling. Yeah. You did some jujitsu in the Army. Jacques Ray gave you a blue belt, but that hey. was a long time ago. Uh, and you haven't done really a whole lot of anything as far as like combat sports. I uh, you know we we tune this wrestling up today. Uh, more importantly, here's what I've done for you is I've called your attention to a specific problem and given you a strategy from best case to worst case on how to manage a knife. Okay, and here's the thing: I know a lot of people look at the combat sports community and believe that. Okay, well, for self-defense, we need to go somewhere else. And I just don't believe that's true. I believe that everything we need for self-defense is within combat sports if we look at it right and if we contextualize what we do. So that's what I said earlier. We're not wrestling to wrestle. We're using wrestling to get an escape, okay, or get control long enough to get an escape. That's okay. the whole idea behind this. Does that make sense? Yeah. And we see Brandon's giving you real pressure. Yeah. Brandon's a he, pro fighter in the UFC. He, He's got a knife, and you're managing this pretty well. Good. Everything else is fine. 
All right, ready? Ah, oh, he's already seven. <laughs> <laughs> he's already seven. <stabbing> me. <laughs> nice, nice. Try it again. You see how? You ain't cheating. You ain't trying. You ain't cheating. You ain't trying. I'm cheating too because I know which side I have my underhook on. Last time I had, I've been here. I've been having to try to let go of my underhook to get it out right. So now I'm just starting with it on the other That's side. Smart, see. All right. It's all in play. Ready? Go! Matrix shit you did right there. Oh. Climbing the fence. <laughs> I don't know what to do. That was some <laughs> matrix. That was I was some stuck at the push off. Oh. That was pretty that was awesome. Nice. That, was, that nice. was pretty awesome. All right, let's take a break. <sighs> Nicely done. <laughs> Out of ammo at that point. You also see when you start doing that. I know I was shooting my arm. I know that was bad, but I'd already lost. I was already a dead net. So I chose to drive around. Through my arm. So how do you feel about the idea right now with Brandon being committed towards you? How do you feel about the idea of breaking range to get the gun? Um, it's better. <laughs> yeah. If you can do it, awesome. If you can't, your, your wrestling jujitsu better be on point you gotta have because i just got schooled but, but what well, then I'll give them but what does it require <laughs> here's my point what does it require for you to break space and get the gun what Full do you have dominance to control which comes from uh position which comes from wrestling yeah wrestling okay. yeah wrestling right sure so you have to have if if, if you're going to have a successful strategy of staying engaged and drawing the pistol. If you're going to have a successful strategy of staying in posture and not falling and keeping this guy at bay while you shoot and trying to stay on your feet, you have to have wrestling. Right. You have to have wrestling regardless of what strategy you choose. Roger. You have to have the wrestling base. If you don't, you backpedal, you get dumped, and it goes to the ground. Yeah. That sucked. Do it again.